Alright guys, welcome to a new video. In this video we're going to be playing Fallout New Vegas and I'll be showing you guys an infinite cap glitch. Now this is definitely the fastest way to get an infinite number of caps in the game, but there are two requirements for it. One is pretty easy, one is rather difficult. You need access to the casinos in the strips, which is pretty easy, and the hard requirement is you need 32,768 caps. Any less than that you won't be able to abuse this glitch. Any more than that, I think it should still work, but to be safe, just get that exact number of caps. If you have more than that and you want to get rid of them, just give some to your companion and you can get them back later. Essentially what we're going to be doing here is using all of our caps and swapping it for chips in any of the casinos. I'm going to be going to the Gamora here simply because it's the closest to the North Strip gate. You can do it in the Ultra Lux or the, uh, the tops. So you just want to go ahead and head inside and you're going to be wanting to go to one of the cashiers where you'll swap your chips. Welcome back to Gamora. Just say, yeah, sure, here's all my weapons, whatever. And then head to the cashier. So what you're going to do is just talk to them and say, can I swap my caps for chips? Welcome to Gamora. How can I help you? And now you're going to be picking the 1,000 chips or 1,000 caps option until that option is no longer there. So 30 times you're going to be selecting this option. I'll speed it up for you guys so you don't die of boredom. And after 32 tries, the options should no longer be there. You're next going to want to put 500 chips. Then that longer there, then you press 100 chips. When that's no longer there, you're going to be pressing 20 chips. And so on until you literally have zero caps remaining. And they're all converted to chips. You can see five chips. Now one chip for one cap. One chip for one cap. One chip for one cap. And then the option is no longer there and it only says never mind. That means you have zero caps remaining in your inventory. So just go ahead and exit out of the chat menu here. And now make sure you save because this has happened to me in an attempt to make this tutorial. You're going to need to drop all your chips on the floor and sometimes they clip through the floor and you've literally just lost all your fucking money. So hopefully they don't clip through, which they fucking do! Oh my. And then you want to open up your Pip-Boy and head to the miscellaneous section of the items menu. And if you did this in the Gamora, you're going to look for Gamora chip. If you did it in the Ultralux, look for Ultralux chip and the tops for the tops chip. And then you're going to want to drop them all on the floor. Hopefully they don't clip through. And you should see there, it says, take Gamora chip minus uh, 32,768. Whereas it should just say 32,768. You pick it up, check your inventory. They're not there. There is no Gamora chip in your inventory. You still have zero caps. And then what you want to do is talk to the cashier and just say, I'd like to turn in my chips for caps. Welcome to Gamora. How can I So once you've done that, you'd think, okay, I'll have my chips gone, my cap's still here. However, the option for turning them in is still there. So you just press it again, I'll take my pair in caps, turn in my chips, pair in caps, turn in my chips, pair in caps, over and over until you have as much gold as you fucking need, like, I don't know, you can keep doing it forever, if you run out of caps, come back here, the option will still be there. So this is definitely the fastest way to abuse a, ch a cap glitch in this game, without the use of hacks, obviously, or inventory editors, just by abusing mechanics in the game. You can see here I have 131 fighters and caps, and there's still no Gamora chip in my inventory, so even though I've exited out the menu, I can simply go back in, Welcome to Gamora. How can I help? and just say, turn in my chips, please. Take my cat and caps. So on. I'm not sure if you can do it for NCR money or Legion money. We're going to try that out now. It looks like you can. So you can you can get Legionnaire money or, or NCR dollar if you're doing a faction playthrough. So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's pretty unknown money glitch I'd say. It's one of the less used ones and it's definitely the fastest. So uh, I hope you guys make use of this and uh, I'll see you guys next time.